I like to know what the super wealthy are doing with their money. Have you ever wondered about that? Uh, so I follow this uh, trends journal and once in a while they follow um, the trends of where the super wealthy are parking their money. And I figure, you know, I like to follow this because you've got inflation, you've got high interest rates, um, you've got, you know, politics, you know, we have an election coming up in, in a few months and I kind of am curious and, and want to know what the super wealthy are doing so that maybe I can follow their trend and, you know, keep building my wealth and also protect myself and my business. So if something's going to be, you know, happening in the near future that I can be prepared for it, right? Because that's really what it's all about is, uh, not getting caught with your pants down, right? You want to protect yourself and you want to keep building that nest egg so that uh, we can reach financial freedom. Um, but before we get to this article, this is Money Habits. I'm your host, Dr. Stephanie Aldrich, and I like to talk about money and habits that can help improve your life. If you're new to the channel and like the video, please hit the subscribe button down below and keep watching because we are going to get into this um, article and see what the super wealthy are doing with their money. So maybe we can do the same thing. But before we begin, I wanted to let you know, yeah, yeah, my 10th book is out. It's called Powerful Money Habit. And you too can have a copy of it for free. Go to PowerfulMoneyHabits.com. Also, I'm having a free masterclass training Sunday, August 25th. You can go ahead and sign up in the description or go to PowerfulMoneyHabits.com and sign up for the free masterclass. We're going to be going over the three moves that can help you build your financial freedom. All right, let's uh, get into it. So the super rich keep getting super richer. It says global net worth, uh, net wealth, staged a significant recovery in 2023, growing by 4.3% after a difficult year prior to that. Uh, if we remember 2022, uh, the stock market was just starting to fall some and um, interest rates were starting to, to go up. Um, so, you know, the ultra wealthy were probably starting to get hit uh, with whatever they were doing before. Assets of the 73,000 ultra high net worth individuals, the ultra rich, rose to about $400 trillion. Financial wealth cash related assets rather than real estate commodities and other non-financial possessions gained almost seven percent after shrinking in 2022 all right let's dive into that so what they were doing this past year was socking cash away cash related assets rather than real estate so because of the higher interest rates, they couldn't use money, debt, leverage to buy commercial uh, and residential properties. So what did they do? They were either buying it uh, debt free, which doesn't really give them an advantage of real estate, right? You wanna borrow and, and hold that leverage so you can put a little bit and control a bigger asset. But what they were doing is um, they were either in real estate and just buying in cash knowing that uh, the Fed wants to lower rates and uh, then they can put debt on those properties or they were just staying out of real estate altogether. Um, cash related assets. Let's go to cash related assets. What are cash related assets? They're highly liquid assets. Um, cash they can be converted into cash within 90 days. Um, examples include cash, bank accounts, and short-term short liquid securities. So basically stocks, they might also be in T-bills, T-bonds, um, T-notes, treasury uh, notes, treasury bills, um, where they can uh, get their money uh, faster. 
might also be crypto. Um, you know, crypto keeps climbing. The stock market itself, uh, the public stock market keeps climbing. Um, they might be doing a little bit of uh, dividend income paying assets um, where they can uh, have money coming in, cash flow coming in either monthly, quarterly, or even yearly. Um, so that seems to be what the wealthy we're investing in. Let's fix this up a little bit here. Um, also, it says tangible or non-financial assets rose about 2%. So tangible, what, what are tangible assets? So they might be doing um, artwork, collectibles, antiques, cars, watches, you know, things that grow in value over time. Um, I know that um, there's an investment place called Masterworks that I looked into a little bit. I, I don't uh, own anything. But I think the minimum amount that you can invest is 15 grand. Uh, and what they do is it's a crowdsourcing community that they syndicate uh, fine art. So they go out and they might buy a Picasso or a Rembrandt or, you know, uh, Andy Warhol. And they usually keep it for three to five years. And then once the market hits a certain amount where they know they can make a profit, they then sell uh, those art pieces and uh, you know you get a piece of that. So uh, that could be something that uh, the ultra wealthy are doing. They're putting their money into things that they know will go up in value. Uh, why are they going up in value? Well, it might be the rarity of what they're buying, but it's also because of inflation. The amount of uh, the value of the money that we have currently when the fed keeps pumping out more money we're shipping it off to ukraine we're shipping it off to israel when we are creating more money in the money supply that means that the money that we have is less valuable so that means prices go up for everything right and the super wealthy know this and they pounce on it so what can we do you and i that uh, can help us seize opportunities as they come in the market. Well, first of all, we need to make sure that we're out of debt ourselves and that we're stashing cash either on the side or we're putting it in a high yield savings account, we're doing uh, treasury bonds, treasury notes, treasury bills, that we can uh, take advantage of the higher interest rates now because we know that they keep hinting about you know interest rates coming down well when they come down you know then the savings rates and that uh you know you won't be able to take advantage of that right also if we know that let's say that you like uh real estate if you know that the interest rates will be coming down in the next year depending on who's elected depending on what the fed is doing you need to have cash right so um what you can do is if you're not involved in real estate, you can put some cash aside so that when interest rates come down and the numbers uh, work out for the properties that you're gonna own, you already have the cash saved up, ready to go. And you can then seize opportunity. So, um, you know, that's what the super wealthy are doing. It seems like they're in cash and cash related assets and also the tangible goods. Um, I know what I'm doing is I am putting a little bit more cash aside just to, to be able to pounce on uh, things, uh, opportunities in the next couple of years that come about. Uh, but I'm also um, doing, uh, I'm also collecting a little bit of gold and silver just to have as a hedge because the, the prices keep going up on all of these things. And the more money that we're printing uh, just means that everything's gonna be uh, more expensive and that means that the value of the things that I have are also going to go up so something to think about 
Um, you know, let me know down in the comments, what are you doing? Are you changing anything in your investments? Um, are you going to be putting a little more cash aside over the next year to see, you know, how the political turmoil works itself out? What happens in the interest rate? What happens, um, you know, are we in a recession? Uh, how are you going to protect yourself? in the changing environment. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm setting aside a little extra and uh, waiting to pounce on opportunities when they come. So let me know down in the description what you're doing. And that's it for the show today. I thought that was a pretty interesting um, article. Uh, let me know what you think um, down in the description. And remember, this is Money Habits. <laughs>